Hey friends, yeah, welcome back to Upper Michigan today and thank you for sticking with us to learn how to make chicken parmesan meatballs. It's here with the certified executive chef and Nathan Molesky. Um, so where do we get started? All right, you got a pound and a half of chicken. Go ahead and this is real simple. This is quick weeknight type thing. So if you're making this at home, would you gr grind like a chicken breast up you, you or could, buy it at the store? You can buy it at the store. Just, just like dump it all that. in? Yep, dump it all in. Okay. And it's kind of a one one pot thing. So we have about Put about half that. That's whole skim ricotta cheese. Mm. You want about I'm a, already excited. About a half, about a half cup, of this. About a half of that. About a half a cup. Okay. Just like both three quarters. Perfect. Okay. Add about a half a cup of breadcrumbs. That should do it. The whole thing. Yep. Okay. Crack one egg. Dude, you got you're doing her. A great job. Awesome. Oh, I'm so impressed. Woo, look at you. that. Look at that skill. Right. We're going to grate two cloves of garlic on this, this Ooh, okay. fine grater. And you're grating it just to kind of break it up. You could chop it up, but this extracts a lot of the juice, mm. so you're not really losing what it. What about anymore. mincing? I have a little, you, you I have can, a little garlic mince mincer. It too. Okay. I find that to be easy. Yep. Just well, turn the thing. Go ahead and do one more, and then we're going to reach inside there and scrape it out. Yep, there it goes. Perfect. It's so fragrant already. Yeah, very fragrant. And then there's a onion. We're gonna do the same with the onion, but turn it over one. This is a really cool. You're gonna grate the onion. Grate the oh. onion. Oh. Yep. I think I got okay. some glove on, on there. I got some God. glove. You did. Let's look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Chef's taking over. Yeah, we, we, need, we need the pro on the grater. If you accidentally get a piece of glove in your meatball, <laughs> look the other way. Yeah. <laughs> look the other way. Actually, that. see a little piece right in there. Oh my gosh. So you're it's okay, just like eggshell. You it's just, just put, it peel is, it out. It is. Got it. A little bit of glove and isn't going to hurt anybody. Maybe. I just don't pick know. it out. We're going to yeah. do some fresh nutmeg. Ooh. I think you've gotten downgraded yeah. off the grating. <laughs> no, you're coming back. <laughs> Go ahead and add some salt, pepper, and parsley, okay. please. <laughs> So, is then, this your, okay. Just give a pinch. Look at that, like pinch. a pro. Oh, I like Another it. Another pinch. Perfect. Look at you. Can't get the glove in with the salt and pepper. No. That's, a, that's a good and one. A good little handful of parsley. I'll parsley. Go ahead okay. and let's, let's mix it up. A little more salt too, actually. There you go. Salt with my hands. If you want to test a meatball, a lot of times what you can do is mix it and then just pan fry it real quick and then Taste a little piece to see mm -hmm. if you like the taste when it's okay, done. Okay. Okay. Yep. Oh yeah. See if it's salty enough. Salty or enough. Or you enough. need to add whatever else you want. This? While we're doing this, th these are San Marzano tomatoes and a little bit of crushed San Marzano. So put them in there, and if you can just kind of very gently squeeze them and break them apart. I can. Just watch it. They will. I'm so happy to have a job. So is that just a, just a can of tomatoes? Yep. Really good San Marzanos. San Marzanos. Yep. San Marzanos are. Yep, true San Marzanos are only come from Italy. Oh, are these true? Those are true. Oh, where certified. did you get them from? Uh, Meyer. Meyer. Yep. A lot of the grocery stores in town have them. You okay. just have to make sure. There's a lot of ones that say San Marzano, Marzano style, okay. but you want the true ones. How do you feel about that? Feel pretty Crunching. good. Crunching. Okay. And then I just rinse the can mm -hmm. and just a little bit of water, and that's your sauce. That's nice. our sauce. Okay. See a little bit of basil in there? Yeah. I know Did you put the basil in there? No, basil came in the can. Oh, okay, okay. So then we're going to scoop the meatball. I noticed there's no scoop breadcrumbs. Scoop the meatball. Oh, in breadcrumbs this. in there. No, you did breadcrumbs. You did. Oh, I did? Yeah, yeah. you did. Oh. A, you did a well, how did I forget that? It's a little bit of olive oil. You were oil. moving too quick. I guess so. so. Come on over here. Now I scoop it a meatball. Yep. Oh, right into the pan? Right into the pan, very oh, gently. Okay. Yep. All right, what size uh, scooper do you have there? Is well, that you, can do, you can do a bunch of different sizes, whatever you okay. like. We do these a lot larger at home. You things, do them larger? Yeah, oh. big. Should I do a bunch at a time? Yep. When you do it, try not to, to compress it oh, so much. Okay. Because you want it to be kind of airy. Oh, see, I would have thought you had to really no, squeeze that's it tight. A, that's yeah. a big mistake. What happens if you do it too tight? Doesn't get cooked in it the just, middle? It's really dense. Okay. Yep. These oh. I kind of want light and fluffy. Light and fl fluffy. So you can do this on a grill outside. Ooh, on I a cast iron tasty. pan. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, tia has got the hiccups today. It's okay. All right, let's let that cook a little bit. We've got yep. to take another break, and uh, will they be done when we get back? I will pop Magic of TV. Oh, Magic of TV. We yeah. love the Magic of TV. We'll be right back and give them a taste. Awesome. Good? Yeah.